Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity to just uh, send my greetings and my appreciation to the Gansi family in the UK uh, for what they are doing in supporting school farms Kenya. I think uh, this project, which is intended to help vulnerable children in uh, Kibera and other slum areas, um, is making a big difference in the education of those children. The school in Kibera, the water project, has transformed the lives of those young people as they try to get an education for survival. Out here on the farm, we also thank the community out there for having sacrificed to help us buy this farm. And in the last uh, one and a half years, we have been working very hard to, to have it start to produce something. Uh, we managed to drill a borehole that is giving us enough water for irrigating the crops here but also providing water to the Maasai community. I think uh, part of this video will show you uh, literally a, a whole village coming with uh, 20 liter containers to get water with their donkeys. And uh, what a service to the community you people have helped us achieve. We have also managed to put up a manager's, a project manager's house, because we would like him to stay here so as to be more effective as we plan the next steps. And also are putting up a multi-purpose hall uh, where the kids can come. We can have uh, uh, service, worship, prayer meetings, Bible reading. Uh, we can have, uh, they can have their meals there. They can um, create drama and music, uh, just giving them a revival in their lives. And, uh, we are very, very excited that uh, we are eventually now going to start the construction. I know the funds we have might not be enough to see the project completed, but we thank God and we just want to start the project and see how far it will go. Our future for this place is to put up uh, dormitories because these kids come from disadvantaged backgrounds. We want to put up dormitory, one for girls, one for boys. We want to put up uh, a training center for vocational training, uh, welding, carpentry, plumbing. Uh, and then we also want them to get their hands dirty on the farm by staying here. Eventually, we hope that God will give us a worship house here so that uh, uh, the Maasai community can come here on Sundays for worship and also the children. I have a dream for this place, uh, a very strong dream because uh, where the school is built in Kibera is where I was raised. Where I was raised. And if you look at my national ID, it is from that spot in Kibera. And uh, just joining with you people to make a difference has been my driving force. And I would really like to see us turn this place into one of the most popular centers in Kenya, Stareb, uh, boys and girls, where uh, a Briton Griffin set up a home for children, turned it into one of the best high schools in Kenya, and it has produced the who is who in Kenya. That is our dream for this place, and uh, we continue to ask you to pray for us. Uh, count on us to be accountable for every shilling that comes here, and count on us to ensuring that every child benefits. So to my counterpart, Peter South in the UK, uh, Marion, um, Gary, and uh, Helen, who have come down to Kenya, I say thank you and the big churches, the churches that have supported us, and of course the government of the people of uh, Gansi, we, we say thank you. So may God bless you, and uh, let's, let's hold on to this mission to see a big center come up uh, deep into this Maasai land. Thank you, and God bless.